Welcome to my Blue Ocean Innovation, Laboring Literature Together, LLT for short. Let me start by introducing myself. My name is Sri Sharma. I'm a ninth grader at Peak to Peak. I really enjoy literature, making me the perfect person to make this innovation into reality. Not only am I dedicated and hardworking, but have the motivation and purpose to make reading and writing something I love to do so much into a more inclusive and fun activity. The problem that I wish to solve revolves around reading, writing, and literature in general. This topic is something that interests not just me, but thousands of other people. However, literature can turn boring or plain after some time. After starting a book, you typically finish it alone and roll with the ending whether it is of your liking or not. On top of that, reading can see, be seen as something that has an order of way of doing. For example, if you are assigned a book to read at school, you are expected to bring the book home and read it on your own. But literature is not something to do alone. Literature helps add spice into our lives by transporting the reader into an alternate reality where it helps people escape problems and engrosses them into what they are reading. But what if we, as readers, got to choose the ending of our novels? What if, by working with other readers all around the world, we were able to choose the ending of our alternative reality? My innovation is called Laboring Literature Together, also known as LLT. LLT allows us as readers to have freedom over what we read. My basic idea is to create an app that allows real-time readers from all around the world to vote for a novel. That sounds pretty simple, right? Well, here's a catch. The novel of the choosing that has been voted is only half complete, meaning your job is to complete the other half according to the ending you see the most fit. Not only that, but throughout the journey you are allowed to form teams and write an ending to the novel together. After writing an ending you and your team is proud of, you enter into the LLT competition. There, the judges decide the best ending out of all the endings entered. The winner of the ending is capable of winning prizes such as money, scholarships, and awards, motivating them to enter the competition. Well, how do we know this innovation will work? According to scientific data, in many countries around the world, 95% have basic literacy skills. This indicates that there are thousands of people around the world who enjoy reading and writing. These are the types of people that my innovation will attract, since my innovation takes simple literature and makes it into an exciting and fun experience. However, fortunately, 320 million books are wasted each year. This mostly includes paper waste and paperback books. But my invention is an app, meaning it would not cost any paper to end up in landfills, making my invention very environment friendly. What other competitors are out there with innovations similar to my own? Well, the most common ones are Goodreads and Raskids. Goodreads is one of the world's most largest corporations, allowing readers to read all types of literature. Currently, it has more than 90 million users and the numbers keep growing. My innovation is very similar to Goodreads. However, what makes it different is for the fact that my innovation is more of a competition combined with reading rather than just reading. It also gives the readers choice and freedom to use their creativity. Another common app is Raskids. Raskids is an award-winning teaching product for kids of all ages. In fact, 400 plus books are opened by students of Raskids every month. For my innovation, I want to look at Raskids as an inspiration rather than a competitor. I want to use the same concepts to make thousands of books online. However, different from Raskids, my app will allow many readers from all over the world to work and read together. Here's a diagram showing the bias utility map comparing current literature industry with my idea literature industry. And here is a blue ocean strategy landscape graph.
The current market customer for my innovation includes a 75 to 84% of the world's population that enjoys reading. The first tier includes those kids or adults that enjoy reading but might find it boring or repetitive. With my innovation, it adds a little spice into normal reading, making it more interesting for those who may not originally love to read. The second tier includes those who are against my innovation and believe that the ending of a novel should be set to avoid conflicts and arguments. And finally, the third tier includes those who purchase books from the local bookstores and are unaware that there is an easier and environmental safe way to check it out online. The four action framework for my innovation. It eliminates paper waste and helps individuals with HDHD to help focus and participate while reading a novel. It also avoids having a permanent ending to a novel, leaving it with many open-ended options. It reduces the number of readers who easily get bored from reading and finishing a novel. And it creates a variety of choices, allows readers to read together with other people by sharing ideas, comments, suggestions, etc. It raises a reader's individual imagination and creativity. It also increases social interaction skills along with leadership and problem-solving opportunities. And finally, it's a chance to win amazing prizes. I hope you like this innovation and thank you for watching my video.